everybody, this is Galator from Galator's Gaming. Um, so today I'm giving you a little tip on how to, well, for all those who like to craft with wood and whatnot, and basically their own homegrown materials. So right now I'm going to show you how to store material and properly preserve wood to prevent it from warping and whatnot. One of the things you're going to need is, well, the material you're going to try to store, preserve, but also wood glue. Because when you make a cut into the wood you're going to preserve, you're going to want to, for example, I sawed off a, a bit of a branch here, you're going to want to slather that wood glue to seal up the, the seal, to seal that up. Because if it's exposed, the, warp, the wood will actually warp. And it will basically screw up the whole material. Um, I'm in the garage right now. Uh, it's actually pretty freaking cold, so I'm actually wearing layers and layers of clothing. The, what I happen to notice is that the best time for really gathering wood is during the winter because that's where it's all compacted. And honestly, a lot of the trees that I did cut last year, they're actually regrowing. So when they're when trees are dormant during the winter, it's actually the best time to prune them, trim them, and harvest wood from them. Because when they're dormant, you can actually cut a tree right in half and next spring you'll know there's a high likelihood you'll notice new growth and people can say that I'm wrong or not but I've tried this in the past and I've had good results may not be the same for everyone else but it works for me so deal with it <clears throat> now When gathering wood like this, you can, you can really do this with any type of wood, really. You just have to make sure you seal up the cuts you made. The, because this is actually a quite a tall beam I've gathered, and I have actually gathered... There are two more beams over there that I have laying, and that's just generally very... The way I like, just that was from this all was from a single tree, and actually I do actually have a tree that I've been working that I actually chopped last year, and I sealed up. Let me just uh, show you. Ah, <clears throat> oh, hey chickies. <clears throat> You can't see it from here, so I'm gonna bring you closer to it. And before you ask, yes, the video quality is kind of crappy because I'm recording on my phone right now. And here it is. This is the tree I've cut last year. All of this, all of that stuff is completely new growth that I've just been training to form into perfectly straight canes and all the ones that have been coming out this way like side to side but I cut those off because all I want is canes to go up because I happen to notice that the canes that go completely up end up getting perfectly still with very little unwanted uh, knots and whatnot so this is gonna actually be pretty useful for this is actually a pretty useful method for harvesting like perfectly straight wood to make like arrows or wood handles and Stuff like that. Basically, what I do is I just chop off, chop off, I chop off a part here, hang it, cut it at an angle, so that way any water that comes on the top it'll flow right down, and then I seal up the top with wood, with wood glue, <clears throat> and that pretty much seals up the tree. So during when spring happens, when spring comes. It'll, all the new growth is gonna start growing like crazy because all the grow all the minerals and nutrients that normally would go for further growth in the main tree the more main part would then go into the new growth <clears throat> so that's essentially how you can kind of trick the tree to grow to grow perfectly straight knotless canes for you to use. Now, 
I'm gonna go back to finishing this up and these canes up. I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to keep recording because I need both hands to do this. So if you guys thought this video was entertaining and enjoyable, by all means like, comment, subscribe if you wish. It really helps me a lot. And by all means share with a friend. This has been a video about how to collectively how to collect and preserve your wood for further crafting. I'll see you all later.